greetings to all the race fans tuning in today. We're joining you from the Le Mans circuit for live coverage of the Moto2 race at the Grand Prix de France. The weather forecasts are very reassuring. We should have good conditions throughout the race. Yo, what's going on guys? JBH here and welcome back to MotoGP 17 for what is the Moto2 race here at our sort of recreation of the 2018 MotoGP Grand Prix of France. We're here at the Le Mans circuit. It's the Bugatti circuit, I believe it's called. It's actually the uh, shorter version of the Le Mans track that you would think of. But nonetheless, it's just as fun and just as challenging. So, Moto2 today, we've qualified for the pole once again, although our Moto2 season so far has been absolutely awful. So we're going to try and change it and get back on the right direction today. This Mark Fidies Calix Engineering bike has been pretty good over the weekend. We have seemed to have struggled with it for the most part over this sort of season so far. But here at round 5, I think we've got something pretty good. I think we're onto something with the setup. So I'm hoping we can make the bike last for the full duration of the race. 13 laps, 50% of what it is in real life. So half race distance. But nonetheless, it's going to be really tough on the tyres. I don't know why, but... This track is really hard on the tyres. I think it's because you're just accelerating and turning so much. You're really asking a lot of the rear tyre. So for that, I've gone with the mediums today. And I just hope I can make them last. So once again, if it's your first time tuning in to my sort of MotoGP 17 series, I've got a full 2018 mod, hence why I'm calling it the 2018 sort of race slash championship. But as you can see we're here, we got all the new riders for the 2018 season. So the have just here we go. Lap. They're lined up on the Le Mans starting grid. Just a few more seconds left, and then the French Grand Prix will get underway. Alrighty, Grand Prix of France, Moto 2. Here we go. Not too bad. Get away, just try and cover that inside. Oh, big dive bomb. Oh, Vieja has gone down. Oh, that was close. Oh, there's my teammate. Alex Marquez has gone down. Actually, no, sorry, that's not my teammate. <laughs> that's my teammate in Moto3, never mind. Wrong team. I run with the Sky Racing VR46 crew in Moto3, so I always get myself mixed up. We're in the Mark VDS crew here in Moto2. Oh, wow, that's deep. That's way too deep. Come on, Joseph. Oh, elbow's out. Miss both apexes, come on. Oh, around the outside, that was a good move. Can't be too hard on the tyres here. We've got to sort of get back to the lead without using it up too much, especially the rear tyre. Oh, I hate this corner. This is the scariest corner in MotoGP. Oh, he's going for a ride. Ow. Shunted. Woohoo! -hoo, big move. Oh, <laughs> we made it work. What a move. Oh, come on, turn. I, I think we've got the pace. we just got to pull away here. That's Bagnaya there on the VR46 bike. Yeah, and Baudasari. Oh, my gosh. Come on, Joseph. Focus. Ah, That corner twice now. Sorry, I'm so used to being on the soft tyre in qualifying, I'm finding it hard to adjust to the medium. Oh, where am I 
going? Oh, we got some decent straight line speed on this Calyx, I tell you what. Ah, tr oh, Jesus Christ! Someone hit me there, that was our teammate. <laughs> Juan Mir, or Johan Mir, as some like to call him. Okay, that's not going to go down too well. I just overshot, I was trying to outbreak Bagnaya and completely <laughs> screwed it up. Come on. Oh, go away, Baldessari. I'm in an Italian sandwich right now. I think that's Agatha in fourth. I suppose I deserve that. Big move. Oh, we're not on the racetrack, come on. Curb, come on. Oh, where is he going? The AI seemed to be really bad through turn one. Oh, sorry, turn three and four. Ah, come on, come on. I just keep handing him back the lead. Every time I get to the lead, I just hand it back to them. Slide job. Or block pass as it's called in two wheels. Oh no, you. Ugh. I knew that was going to happen. I should not have gone for that move. That was a stupid idea. I knew there was no way he wasn't going to come down on me. Oh, God. Again, Moto2 this year has just been so mean to me. <laughs> I just cannot catch a break. And once again, we've fallen back due to another crash. It's all right, long way to go. Come on. I'm not letting this one get the better of me. Straight line this bit. Oh, wheelie. Not even halfway yet, we can still do this. 
not if I keep freaking missing the apex by half a mile. Joseph, calm down, use your head. Still inside the top 10, we've got Quattararo in front of us. Another the Frenchman. struggling through that corner. Just cannot get the power down on the exit without using up the tyre. just breaks so early for that last corner, it catches me out every time. Alright, up in the seventh. Come on, gotta get away from this pack behind us. That is totally not the racetrack. Alright, come on. Gotta get some good laps together now if I want to get a podium out of this. Oh, you piece of shit. Fuck, I hate the ripple strips on this game. 
Oh my god, come on, get back on the track. Gosh, cannot get it together on this Moto2 bike. I don't know what is wrong with me. I don't know what to do around that corner, eh? Just cannot get it right at all. Lost like half a second on that, just that corner alone. Oh, that was very rude. Apologies. <laughs> oh, come on. Alright, four laps to go. Oh, come on, Joseph. I cannot get it stopped through there. Oh, you fucking hell! That corner! Ah, just get out of my way! No, not falling for that shit again. Oop, what is corner cuts? Alright, come on, three laps to go. I just want to get a podium. If I can get a podium, I'd be stoked. Oh, you... I can't believe I just did that. Oh my god, I almost killed myself again. I must have just got the inside of the tyre on the... I've been trying not to do that. I haven't done that once the entire weekend, and then I go and do it with three laps to go in the Moto2 race. Makes sense. Oh my god, now I'm just out of front tyre, out of tyre altogether, really. This is why I wanted to get away in the beginning.
Alright, see if we can get some positions back on this last couple laps. Tires, give me some. Just give me some grip. Come on, I can literally see the lead. Alright, come on, last lap of the race, we've got to try something. Oh, what the hell's that? Come on. No front tyre left. I had a huge bobble going through turn one that just completely screwed those first three corners. Got nothing, nothing through there at all. Oh shit! Wow, that was scary. Sucks! Oh, that sucks, that sucks, that sucks. We gave up a massive opportunity for a win today. Oh my god, look at that. We were like half a second quicker than the entire field. Oh, why, Moto2? Why do you do this to me? Every damn race. Have a look at the replay. But yeah, no, that sucks. Got a decent getaway, a little bit of wheel spin in the initial sort of portion of the start. But managed to get good drive through the rest of the gears. Ah, oh, man, this one really sucks. That hurt bad. Huge dive bomb from Baldassari. Had to concede the position. screwed up turn two and basically dropped all the way back behind Oliveira almost. So we'll skip ahead through and try... Oh, what am I doing? I'm skipping through the riders. Wrong, wrong button. Actually, that was Marquez. So Marquez, our other teammate, must have crashed out on lap one. No surprise there. Yeah, I'm trying to find where I got demolished by Aegata or something happened. Oh, 
Must have been must have been quite a fair way into the race. Oh yeah, I think it's here. So we got a good run through this first section. We've been so much quicker than anyone through the last sector. Oh yeah, no, just went in way too hot. Yeah, way too hot. That was a really bad idea. That was a really bad idea on my part. Let's try and find another angle. So, oh, you can't quite see it from there. So yeah, judging from behind, yeah. I, I mean, I, I, I have this sort of problem with talking about people like it's the, uh, well, talking about the AI like they're re real people, but I like to keep it as realistic as possible. And basically, if that was real life, he would have had no idea I was there anyway. So, just trying to sort of park it in front of him. Slide job in motorsport. It's called a, I think it's a brake. I can't remember what it's called in moto or motocross anyway. Block pass, that's the one. But yeah, no, it doesn't quite work out on the tarmac. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. I know not quite the result that we wanted but still with some fun racing nonetheless I just I know at some point we're gonna get a breakthrough in this Moto2 category it's just not to be at this moment it sucks because we had a really really good opportunity to win I think if we if we'd managed to get in front of Bagnaia and, and Agata and Baudasari and just got one decent lap in or a couple of corners in where we would have been able to pull away this race would have been one and done but we got thrown back in the pack had two offs one was my fault one was sort of 50 50 but anyway that is motor racing all right guys thanks for tuning in i hope you enjoyed it stay tuned for the moto gp race it's coming up shortly here on my channel i'll be uploading that directly after i upload this one so hopefully we can get a better result than what we have done here in moto 2 right until then i'll catch you guys later